Who is this? Say. Predator. Predator. Yeah. Oh, I get down. So, that's my son's predator doll. He loves the hell out of that thing. He loves predator to death, which is uh, pretty funny. I grew up in predator myself. As a matter of fact, I got one of these. Check it. Cool, huh? So, I'm a little fan. Maybe this is Halloween's coming up, and I figured I might as well make a video out of this. It will be an artistic project. Uh, it will be a you know do-it-yourself kind of thing. It won't be you know uh, something cheap and store-bought. Uh, my son will be the predator Ooh. for Halloween, so he, do you mind? So I'll be uh, filming that process and hope you guys enjoy that. Um, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, not the best lighting in the world, but then again, this is totally spur of the moment. Obviously, this is the Predator hair. Uh, I have more, but it's yet to be shaven down. My wonderful wife was good enough to uh, kind of uh, trim these for me. This is the cranial piece. The piece that will loosely rest on top of my son's head. This is the dome and clearly it will fit right in here I'm about to cut this piece out and uh, affix it to here there's a dog and here's the predator costume project going on right here like my hair sweet me either so my son's asleep right now so I have to use one of our Halloween props. Well, here we go. Check that out. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty sharp. Booyah. No way. Okay, so once again, uh, sorry for the shitty lighting, sorry for anything else that might be shitty, um, but this is most definitely not shitty. Here's where I'm at. My son's predator's mask. Or my son's predator mask for this Halloween. Really excited. It's looking great. Um, I'm about to throw some uh, Mod Podge with some cellulose. Maybe a little bit of water, thin it up, paper mache in other words. Um, so, if you're wondering, these silver pieces here, it's just aluminum foil. Basically all I did was crumple it down like that, and then just shape it the way I needed it. The one thing I thought I might show you, I used a pen like this to smooth out the surface like so. Obviously this is a very crude job because I'm holding the camera with one hand. It's not perfectly smooth but it's definitely smoother than what I could achieve with my fingertips. There's a neat little tip for you. Uh, just kind of pulled that one out of my ass. Thankfully it didn't stink. It worked quite well. Here's all my predator hair. So I'm about to paint that and paper mache this and well, see you soon. Peace. Here's the predator hair. Looking pretty good. Partially painted, not done yet. Uh, it's a little on the stiff side. Now that I've painted them, they've become even more stiff. Here's our little setup. Nothing too exciting. There's our Mod Podge. Bunch of fucking cellulose. And check out the progress here. Or the foiled cheeks and jawline. That's when it looks like wrapped up. Here we are. It's, uh, holy shit. It's about four o'clock in the morning. There's my poor dog.
passed out. And uh, we have made a significant amount of progress. Everything is paper mache except for the rear of the crown. Just have to finish that up. And I'll be done with the mache. And then I can just slather the whole thing with uh, Mod Podge. Here is the remainder of my Predator hair. I've already begun to attach it to the helmet. And as you can see, the helmet has been painted with a metallic, silver metallic paint. Still have to add the eyes, some sort of mesh. We have this very fine netting here. I'm going to spray paint it black and double it up. Right, here it is. The Predator mask in all of its interplanetary glory. Let's back it out here. As you can see, I got all the hair fixed. Unfortunately, as you can see here, while using hot glue to attach the hair to the helmet, the hot glue would actually eat through the foam. So I'm going to have to go over that with some paint, which is what I'm going to do right now. Um, also, one thing I never mentioned were the, uh, the decorations, the quote-unquote beads on the dreads here. Um, all this is is a, uh, a rectangle of aluminum foil, hot glued onto the hair, and then dusted with some olive drab spray paint. As you can see, got the mesh in there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, humans, this is the finished product. Check it out. So, you saw all those uh, harsh black brush marks that I had. I mixed a little bit of, uh, a little bit more metallic paint with the black and w watered it down like freaking crazy. It gave me a nice uh, kind of weathered look. Gave me some shadows where I wanted the shadows. It's not too metallic, but it's not too dirty either. It's just right in my opinion. My son is going to flip the fuck out when he sees this. Oh, and here's the inside. If you were wondering. So yeah, finished product here. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if there's more information you'd like from me, uh, just hit me up in the comments. I'll be happy to share it or make an additional video or something. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And check me out on Facebook. Dr. Satan is on Facebook. Also have a Dr. Satan shop. Really badass shit. Dr. Satan gear. Check it out. Cool stuff. I also have a Patreon account now. Don't forget to, uh, you know, if you enjoy my stuff, then hell, help me out. I'm actually using a tripod right now that was donated to me. Uh, courtesy of Ezra Zephyr. He is fucking awesome. And I'll probably make a video just on that. Uh, just do an evaluation of the, the tripod and to give him props for being such a fucking awesome friend and subscriber. Anyways, guys. Peace.